Good evening. An Albuquerque Cafe owner is accused of being an anti-Semite for a nasty tirade that showed up on his Facebook page. But he claims he was hacked and says the controversy is killing his business. News 13's Jackie Kent is live on Central and Carlisle with the very latest. Jackie. Dean Jessica, the vegan cafe owner has a few explanations for the post. One of them, he's being targeted by an anti-vegan crowd. I literally almost vomited. I puked. I got sick in my stomach. I am pretty troubled by the fact that somebody would actually put such thoughts on social media. People upset about a clearly hateful anti-Semitic Facebook post on the page of Michael Palombo, the owner of V Roast Bistro, a vegan cafe in Knob Hill. I, I don't know how to fix it. I don't hate Jews at all. Yesterday's post calls Jewish people animals who treated the Germans poorly, blaming the Jews for the Holocaust. I apologize for anybody hurt. Uh, in this situation. And it blames Jews for rising rent costs and Wall Street greed, spawning the Occupy movement, which Palombo happens to be a part of. Somebody did their research, you know, and did a good job of pretending to be me. Today he posted he'd been hacked. As this is happening, more screen grabs are circulating, showing more anti-Semitic comments he reportedly made yesterday, along with his apologies for making them. Another reason people aren't buying his hacking story. One of the sentences in the post that he posted remarked sort of uh, that it was the, my grandparents' fault that they were uh, slaughtered and there should be no sorrow or remorse for what happened to them. But Palombo insists the hack job did happen and says the backlash is crippling his business. My ratings went down on both Facebook and Google. But regardless of who was behind the posts, people agree those beliefs are all too real. You have to actively speak out against it or uh, it will get worse. Let's hate less and love it more. Palombo also believes he may have been targeted because he's politically outspoken. He says he since, since reported the hacking to Facebook and changed his password, but hasn't tried to find out anything about the hacker. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. Now, in the past, Palumbo has had a landlord take him to court for failing to pay rent and a business partner take out a restraining order against him after a fight over money. New details this evening.